hello everyone welcome back oh hello um we uh the last time we were together you guys had left from your uh, little office that you had discovered uh and then you went wandering around the dungeon um apparently aimlessly um you you managed to disturb uh, some kind of undead creature that tried to suck your existence out of you and not in a good way. And uh, then you uh, walked into what appeared to be the gauntlet underneath the ground and a giant dead purple worm was laying in the middle of the room and you were confused. Uh, you explored a little bit more, uh, and then you encountered words on a wall uh, that said, I was Otari, save me from below, that then dribbled off the wall and began snaking down the hallway. Uh, Calliope chased after the snaking light, and it, it was then that um, uh, Zingle realized that his that he was seeing part of his vision. Uh, you guys chased the ghost down the hallway and encountered a giant, a skeletal giant, which you fought. And then you went around another corner and encountered some brown mold. Uh, you ended up on a beach, uh, like a, like an underground cavern beach. Uh, and then you doubled back and went through some doors uh, that had a bunch of dioramas in little cubbies on the wall, which then began to sp spit deadly things at you. Um, you managed to disable two of them, but are huddling currently against the wall, uh, standing outside a set of double doors. Uh, so I'm going to activate the map. Can I make a recall knowledge? Yes. <laughs> I, if that's a cult, it might be a cult. I'll do a recall knowledge on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, just for <laughs> reminder, to the north of you up here, and to the east of you down here, you had disabled those two traps. There is another oh, diorama across the hall from you. Um, the uh. This one uh, appears to be an undead uprising uh, coming from the gauntlet towards Absalom. And you guys had decided to look in this uh, set of double doors over here. So now you're lined up against the wall, hoping that you don't get uh, hit by the trap. That's right. I would rather not be second. We're scoochy scooching up against the wall. Do you think we can scooch around without triggering the trap? Uh, yes, you can move through each other's squares. I kind of look back at Brond and give an encouraging smile and nod <laughs> towards the door. <laughs> Wait, all right. So we are going to the east then, right? Yeah. That was your plan at the time. You guys have yeah. come down this trapped hallway and lined up as if you are ready to go in this door. Um, where I I'm a little injured and our froggy friend looks a little uh ouchy as well. Um I haven't looked at anybody else left. barely. You got, I can... you got smacked around pretty good by the traps. Yeah, oh the like, frog oh, oh yeah, I forgot that everybody was not fully healed. Yeah. Like I mean I can probably take a couple good blows. But oh, uh on. I'm gonna go ahead and reach back and okay, you do that first. Yeah, just I'm gonna don't... get, I'm gonna get froggy, dude. And we all get a hero point for starting out, right, Wes? Yes. All right. Okay. You're I have ready. a lay on hands left, but if you can treat, I feel like it might be wise to yeah, not just get froggy, There's get too froggy. Why is it telling me I, can't I have something about a healer's that? tools or a healer's plaster? I have that. that. Uh, you have to have it equipped in your hand. I thought I did. Let me see. I would take. Go to your inventory. Uh huh. Don't go to your character. Don't go to your character. Okay. Okay, and then go to. 
that one. Yes. See, currently you have a throwing knife and a staff in your hand, which shouldn't work anyway. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just uh, you know, it let me. So okay. <laughs> Um, I, I do believe that works. Stabs are, are two. Are you gonna are, let me hold it? Great. Stabs, stabs are two-handed. So. Oh, oh, I have my healer. My healer's tools are worn. I'm wearing them. They just automatically work because they're on my person. Oh, they do. Yeah. They should. That's how okay. that works. I'm it's wearing them. It's like it's on them. a belt. Yeah. They are. They are worn currently. Okay. But it's, but it's not, not working. working. It's not letting me do it. Okay. So, so maybe I need to hold it. I don't know. It's not in the section. Okay. Let me look at. Let me look at your character a little bit. Okay. I put it in one of my hands. Okay. Um. I'm still seeing your throwing knife and your staff in your hand. Yeah, I'm very dexterous. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna let go of the staff. Okay. I still have to have the staff, but I'm just going to put it back in my pack, right? Okay. So now I'm going to take your healing healing tools and hold them one-handed. They were held. One I put them one-handed. Does it not look like that um, to you? No. I clicked it, and I said held one hand. I clicked. I don't know. One. I guess. Now try it. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. Meanwhile, the frog is bleeding to death over here. <laughs> yeah. Holy it's only a froggy mild horses. bleeding to death. No, you can't treat wounds without healer's tools or a healer's plaster. Getting the same air massage. Okay, let me... Uh, okay, it says if you wear them... So... They work... Just drape them over yourself. Yeah, they're supposed to work if you wear them. So, it, but it's not working. So I don't know what the deal is with the okay. thing. Okay, let me. Who are you trying to heal? I am trying to heal uh, Kapiri because okay. he is not feeling good. Okay, so I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna go to your uh, basic action macros, and I'm going to. Treat wounds for him. I mean, I tried, man. Another victim of the healthcare bureaucracy. Right? It says you don't have healer's toolkit on your character. So that I, I that's what I think is going on. Okay. So hold on just one second. I'm gonna delete the healer's tools. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna say it's a different item, right? It's like and a weird. I'm th I'm gonna look up oh, healing okay. toolkit. I wonder if it changed and I wonder if this is an AB like a the update rules. Update. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm thinking it is. Okay. So there and they are now worn. And why don't you try it now? I am trying it now. <gasps> it's working. Oh, the heavens have parted and light is shining down and I am healing people again. Oh, oh, that was a critical success. Very nice. Because I'm amazing. So I'm gonna, You're welcome. I'm going to apply all that. Uh... So who else was uh, clamoring for healage? The, the Johnny went a court and he did right. Wait, why is it? Why is it not giving me the healing button? I don't know. Everything. All the roles were secret. Um, I oh. Oh, is it private? Yeah. Okay. GM role? I'm sorry. I'm going to do public roles. Here we go. We're, we're publicing. So I'm just going to okay. give Kupiri 11 hit points. Okay. There we go. I just manually did it. Okay. So you're well, going to try to heal other doing, people? If, oh that's going to take... It takes 10 minutes each, right? Yes. So I'm just gonna sit in the sit against the wall and refocus with Scoot while that is happening. Oh, you're gonna wait for her to get her be able to heat do well, I'm sorry, it twice. Takes 20, it takes twenty minutes. You're you're doing two treat wounds. Right? Yeah, but the treat wounds is instantaneous. No, uh, it's 20, but it's she minutes, can no no that's her that's her recycle on when she can do it again. It says you spend ten minutes treating one creature. The target is then immune to treat wounds for an hour. Well then, how can you do that in combat? I don't know that you can. Oh, because you have, 
because you have um, combat medic. That's why. Okay. okay. It looks like I have two things targeted, but I'm not supposed to, so I don't know what's going on. Also, the game is paused, so. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's do that. So there we go. I am now. Yes, you can refocus. Okay. If you would like. Just hit one little point. It helps. Yeah. Every little bit helps. I'm committed to being helpful. Oh my god, it's not working. Hang on. Well, now I still have... Okay. We'll see if it works. I have two things targeted still because I can't seem to untarget. Turkinil, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Huzzah! Uh, see? Okay, I rolled again on Kupiri, but it was supposed to be on Johnny, and it did not go. Okay, oh, and you're still doing... Hold on. Why is it not... And it didn't... <sighs> Frustration. So I targeted... Okay, so I'm going to oh, give God. him 14 hit points. Thank you. I targeted Brond, but I would not untarget. Right. Kapiri. I tried several times. Okay. If this was pen and paper, this would have been done 20 minutes ago. Okay. I'm able to target <laughs> someone else using T by mousing over another person. Yeah. I can't untarget him, though. Okay. Let me try. Okay. Now he's gone. Now it works because you got up out of your chair. That's so fair. <laughs> That's the way it works. <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh, you guys should be healed now. Let's go kill things. Okay. Or kill so, things and then I'll heal you maybe. That was 20 minutes worth of stuff. Oh, did you move over there, Bron? Oh, I well, he I just I meant, uh, did. You said I can move on top of my other characters, right? Yeah, yeah. But but right. but I I work my way back okay. here. Hold on just one I second. Didn't... Let's do this. We need to move we need to move people around. If you, I didn't I didn't know if you moved into this space cuz that would be bad. No, no, no. It was it was up and over. Yeah, okay. it was okay. it was across the top. Okay. C climbed over us. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. And I want to uh perceive at this door if I hear anything beyond. Okay, give me a give me a secret roll. Uh you hear some mumbling on the other side of the door. I want to stealth stealthily open the door. Okay, give me a stealth roll. <laughs> um, shit, of course it's not on my basic macro. Um, let's see. Oops. You may have to... Let's see. Um, let me make it private. There we go. There you go. Okay. You think oh. you quietly open the door. On the other side of the door, um, hold on. I gotta fix something. I screwed it up. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. know what to get this guy for Christmas. Some nail trimmers. Okay. <laughs> On the other side of the door, you see um, uh, a large... Well, let me read the description. The description. The large, This large, low-ceilinged room has a cross-shaped table at its center. Ten chairs stand around the table. The walls, floors, and ceilings of the chamber are completely covered in thick layers of webbing. In the middle of the room, you see a web lurker, like the one that you have encountered before. Okay? Uh, and he is uh, attempting to... Um, he, there is a... There is an object in the middle of the table that he is, like, speaking to. And you hear him going... And uh, and he appears to be speaking to some illusionary object in the middle of the table. And I'm gonna actually put him there. I don't I don't like where I had him. Can I? Ooh. 
Okay, you, you moved him, so I want to run up and smack the shit out of him while I'm also kicking Wait. whatever the object is. Okay. Nope. Nope. Wasn't the last one nice? Nope. I feel like. Oh wait, was the last, the last one, one being nice? Yeah. I feel like it I wanted to work last... for us. I just killed you. Wait, did, did was the last? Can I do a recall knowledge with the group? Was the last one nice or is um? No, absolutely freaking not. Oh, that's what I thought. Absolutely I mean, freaking not. you? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But it's I wanted to make sure because. Okay, let's get garbage. some uh, let's get some 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 initiative rolls. Do I get any bonus to my like, a lot modifier of... bonus for my uh, speakiness? I'm getting a lot of tool tips and they're really annoying. It's like I'm getting everyone's debuffs. What is going on? It's really distracting. Oh, well, I actually did a not a sh crappy. No, I did do a crappy roll. I will. Ooh, someone's a twenty. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna change the web lurkers initiative. Um. To after brawn. Because surprise attack. Yes, because he he's in. he's gonna be rushed. Because he has said he wishes to be rushed in. Yeah, like I, yeah. I open the door. I think sneakily. Okay. I see the web lurker talking. I want yes. to rush in. Yeah. Um, let me make sure my things are set properly. Um, I'm gonna say the table in the middle of the room is difficult terrain, uh, as well as each of the chairs that have fallen over. So it's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. So, yeah, I can move here uh, without doing a. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It, <clears throat> they're not in a combat. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's all good. Just you know. There we go. All right. Man, to end your combat sound is weird. So I can move here, even moving. Oh, collide. Sorry. What is going on? Okay, there we go. And I want to. So. I guess I would have to use an action to attack this one. Okay. Uh, it's going to be two attacks because it's so it's going to be all three of my attacks to power attack this one. Okay. Um, I'll allow that. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's, uh, let's do some. Uh... <laughs> it sounds like Pond Far music. <laughs> All right. I did fourteen points of damage against our friend. Okay, so you rush forward to the to the uh, web lurker. And you swing, you do a massive power attack on him, and you do 14 points of damage to him. Bam! Can you turn off one of the music so there's only one playing? Yes, I can. Oh. Uh, turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. There we go. Okay. So is that your is that your full round? Yeah, sorry, it was okay. not letting me click and turn. Um, you're the only one in the room, uh, so the spiders in the back uh, decide to unload on you. <laughs> oh, back spider. Oh wait, that's not right. I need to do this. Oh wait, why was I targeting Kupiri? I'm sorry. I don't know. But I, I gave the damage to the web lurker. Okay. Thank you. Uh what you uh you are hit. Uh you are immobilized. 
I believe I don't think I have a modifier on that. Hold on just one second. Yes, you are immobilized and stuck to your location. Okay. Um I'll add immobilized. It should have already automatically done it. Uh so the spider comes up here and decides to attack you. Since you're all webbed up. I added the mobilized. Okay. Good to go. The spider rears up, bears its fang, and bites down onto you, but misses. So that is the end of that spider's turn. The other spider scurries over to join in the attack. But then, no I think, notices Trick out in the hallway. And so targets him and sprays him with webs. Oof. He is hit. He is immobilized. And then the spider attacks Kupiri behind him? doesn't seem sure about this. Mm. Nah, he seems a little wishy-washy. He's come back over to Bron. Bron will fuck him up. Bron's pumped. And that misses Kupiri. So that is the end of that spider's turn. Why are you not looping properly? I don't understand. Try that. Okay. It is now Calliope's turn. I think you're muted. Can I walk through my friends or would I have to walk around my friends? You definitely can walk through your friends. Friends. I'll walk through you a little bit. Um, but I can't land on them. I have to, like, get in front of them, right? Uh, right. You can't end your, end your movement on them. No. Uh, crap. Um, okay. I just didn't want to get close to where they were, but that's fine. So I'm going to come and go right there. Okay. And then I am going to cast um, my Frosty McFrost Pants spell. Oh, let me pull that up. Boop, 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 boop. What was that again? Uh, it's one of your lovely things that you talk about all the time. Your beep boops. <laughs> beep, um, beep, boop, beep boop, 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 boop. I'm attacking with Ray of Frost. Let me target this dude. Oh, look, it worked. There we go. That did not work at all. And you missed. Um, so that is all of your actions. Yeah. My turn, son. Have fun, everybody. Okay. Mimnovix is surprised uh, and uh, turns on Bron and attacks. Oops. Who could have seen? And he gets a critical miss with his claws Yay. and kind of, he's too shocked. He swings and is like, Argh! and uh, now it is Kapiri's turn. Okay, let's see here. Kapiri wants some of this. <laughs> is Kapiri so still the... enfeebled? Is what? Are you still enfeebled? As far as I know, I am still enfeebled. Um, yes, you are, because it lasts an hour. So I'm going to come over here and take a swipe at this spider, but the kind of swipe where it's a gun. <laughs> I'm going to tickle him with bullets. Okay, you hit the hunting spider. 
Yeah. And you're hitting the one directly in front of you? Yes, I see. Yes. Okay, you damage the spider. And then I'm gonna attack it with my sword, reloading strike. You once again hit! And the spider is injured. And that is the end and of your turn. For me. Trick, you are immobilized. Okay, I'm going to bring out my bow. I'm going to make... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to make the spider... That Kapiri just hit my hunted target. And then I'm going to make a flurry attack. So get two strikes. Boom. One. And critical miss. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, you did hit once, though, correct? Yeah. Yeah, four damage. You did four damage. I will. Have you? Did you apply that damage? No. Okay. Bam! There. Hunting Spider okay. takes four damage. Okay, it is now Zingle's turn. Whoop. Ron, who's your deity again? Uh, oh my god. How <laughs> embarrassing for you. What is this? Very. Wow. I was asked who Bron's deity was. Silence. Awkward. Bron Awkward party destroying silence. I think Braun is a god of healing. as fuck. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I put a so scoot. Uh, I throw scoot to the ground. Um, on this, I mean, not super gently, but responsibly. Yeah. For my first action, I'm commanding. That's uh, a first. Scoot. So scoot. Uh, uh, I gotta move out of the way because I don't know how to target him under me. Scoot moves forward. Uh, the little symbol on his back turning into a sword to inspire Braun. Scoot goes, damn it, I can't change his corner. Hold on a second. He starts there. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. Scur kind of scurries here and up uh, to the corner here. Yeah. He's in range of both Kapiri and Ron. And uh, that's his first action. The second action is because of his inspiring symbol. He's going to give Braun plus one AC till next round. Okay. Nice. My best to watch the rolls. And for my second two actions, I'm going to just um, phase bolt one of these. Okay. There's, there's a spider bearing down a Kapiri that's already getting beat up a little bit. Yes. So we're phase bolting that one. Let's go. I got to get me up. Uh, I do have to make an attack roll on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's plus seven. Shit. Oh, it's gonna miss. Ass. Is it missed by? Missed by five. Wow. The spider. Okay, that's your turn. Brond, you stand there Brond. face to face with a spider and a web lurker. The web lurker is saying something in a in a very caustic language, like I'm going to take an action to stoke the flames of my sword in hopes of setting ablaze any of this webbing that is around the the web lurkler or their spiders and whatever else yeah and now i am going to do a power attack with my next two actions which is oh Maybe. that's gonna miss yeah i'm going to use a uh hero point okay reroll there you go all right, and there's that critical damage. There you go. 42 points. You're attacking the web lurker. The web lurker, yes. Okay. Would you like oh. to describe what happens to the web lurker? 
you see like Brond is standing there with the sword in hand, shield in the other, and like, you know, he holds up the sword, it, the flames burst up it, and he just cuts the web lurker down on the table. And uh yeah. yeah he was just asking us for salt. I don't know why we did this to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's it for Brond. Uh the spider that's here, uh I don't know. I don't think he's intelligent enough to be intimidated by what just happened. So he'll continue just to just to do what he does. So he is standing next to Kupiri. Oops. And will attack with his fangs. And gets a critical hit. Um, Fuck yeah. So uh, let's roll critical on that. That's 16 points on Kupiri. Plus, I need Kupiri to click that. Okay, that is a good thing that you did that. Um, uh,. The spider will attack Brond. And misses. And then the spider will target Wendy with a web. And miss. Oh. Um, the next spider is um, uh, not happy with the fact that uh, everyone is running about and not completely <laughs> stuck in webs. So he fires at Kupiri and misses. Ugh. And fires again. And misses. Nice. And then, uh, steps over in order to start attacking. And now it is Calliope's turn. You're, you're. Thank you. Has it been 10 minutes since I have healed Kupiri? <clears throat> you healed Kupiri first and then Braun. So yes, you had 10 minutes between Kupiri and now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to target Kupiri and send him a heal. Um, it's got to be a treat wounds because none of well, my... Well, you got to step up next to him. Oh, son of a biscuit. Oh, that's not hard. I just go boop, right? Okay, yeah, but moving is an I'm action. I'm immune to treat wounds, Wendy. Uh, no, you're not anymore. You're not anymore. It's been 10 minutes. It's an hour. No, not for her. She's got... Uh, oh. She's got... Uh, I'm super healy mind. pants, lady. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's got a feet I'm for this amazing. stuff. Okay. Um, so I'm targeting you. I am casting treat wounds. Please let it go well. Here we go. That's not bad. Okay. Very nice. I don't understand why it's not giving me the heal button. Do you guys Can see I that? It? It's looking like damage. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'm having to manually do the healing here. <clears throat> so. There's 18 points added to Kapiri. So that, how many, t okay, so treat wounds. Is uh, one action. One action, so I have one more action. Yep. Uh, my butt is moving back away from okay. the things. I'm gonna come back there. Okay. Because they're still 30 feet away, 25 feet away, and I can annihilate them from there. Yep. All right, I'm done with my turn. Okay, it is now Kapiri's turn. 
Well, that spider critted me, so I'm gonna crit it now. At least I'm gonna try. I'm gonna shoot it. Now, nope, just a regular old hit. Okay, you do three points of damage. Bam! He's then, badly injured. Hit him with my sword. Nope. And I'm done. Okay. It is now Trick's turn. Alrighty. First, I'm going to make a flurry attack. Against the same spider. Strike one hit. Okay. Okay. That spider is still barely functional, and then he missed. Then I'll make a third attack as my second action. Okay. That's going to critically miss. And uh, I'd like to try to get out of the webbing. Okay. Uh, let's see what the rules are on this webbing. Um... You've got to do an escape. I'm putting it in the chat. There you go. That does not bring up a roll. It doesn't? Okay, then do a basic action of a of an escape. Like a, yeah, do a basic escape action. Okay. Escape. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum. I feel like I need to, like, hit a corn. Okay, you <laughs> successfully escaped the webbing. You are no longer immobilized. I'll take that off of you. Boop. Oh, cool. And I'm dead. Okay, it is now Zingle's turn. Shocked that there's still something alive for two rounds. Uh. <laughs> So I'm confused by, but what I'm going to do is uh, let let the party finish it off. I'm just going to hang back here. It seems safe. I'm going to uh, nudge fate on uh, bronze up next or the next. Yeah, bronze very next. I'm going to nudge fate on bronze. Okay. And uh, click around here. Droop target bronze. We'll do that. That should give him an automatic plus one if he needs it. And is he, and he's still plus one AC, right? And then yeah. I'm going to change, because I cast a hex, I'm going to change Scoots. Scoots going to just scurry over here. I'll command him for another action. Okay. Uh, and he's going to do all that because he has two moves, so he just runs around. Okay. And then he can now uh, inspire Brawn to be another plus one to hit. So effectively plus two if you need it next round to guarantee okay. you uh, oh. polish stuff off is it is it plus two or just a plus one you, you get a you yeah. get a flat plus one because of the because of scoot for the entirety until my next round gotcha gotcha but then nudge fate means if you miss by one one time it gives you a second plus one Roger that but does that okay. make sense thank and you, then thank for my you. third yes, action I'm going to cautiously <laughs> approach the door okay Maybe I've kind of lost. I'll work. I'm gonna. I'll figure that out. I've lost sight of myself somehow. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, I got it now. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna come up to the doorway, uh, give uh, Clypey. Yep. High five, and then stand there and kind of look in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Bron. I mean, you're a gnome, so it's not that high of. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's a medium five. <laughs> Bron, it is your turn. Lash with just a regular attack at this uh, butter. Okay. Actually, Rhonda is actually going to five ten. Yeah, move over here. Oh, you're still stuck. You're right? immobilized. Oh, that's right. 
Well, shit. Um, Brand will attack one. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. So you raised your shield with your first action, right? No, 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 no. no. I did not do anything with my first action. This, okay. this is my first action. Sorry. Okay. Attacking. That's going to be a crit. Yeah. Bron just smacks the shit out of this spider. Sends like it's gore flying across the wall. Yeah. Um, and then... Um... Uh, by the way, you still have your fire on on your sword. Oh, oh, I apologize. It's fine. He only had like two hit points left anyway. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, thank you for letting me know. Stoke Flames is now off. Um, and I now want to break free of my webbing. Is there... Yes, you just need to do, to do an escape there? roll. Okay, I'm going to scroll up to the escape roll I saw earlier. Yeah, I don't think you can click the one. I think you just need to do a basic skill check oh, and okay. then do escape. And the DC is 17. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's going to do it. Yeah, so... Uh, Ron, hold on, wait. First... You get free and remove the grab to mobilize and restrain, impose, and you can stride up to five feet for free. Well, um, it, it's still telling me I air. Oh, let me fly. let me pull. Off, I I gotta pull off the immobilize from you, right? Well, I I did that. Oh. it's not letting me get up. It's saying little... the table is. Oh. Uh, cross the table or get. Oh yeah, the there's walls around the table. Okay. Um, I was wrong about that. Um, yeah, so... Tear down, tear down, tear down. I'm not going... Well, I, I will. I will move over here for my... Well, is that five feet or is that ten there? That's five feet. Okay. Sure, uh, I'm going to do that, and I will... Now that I'm over here, I'm going to demoralize <laughs> that other spider I can see. Okay. You I fail. do not. Yes. Hey, and... Look, you've got a language barrier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, my turn is over. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty pretty funny. I I, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, we're gonna remove. Is this. it worth a hero point? Yeah, we know that Braun does not respect spiders. Not... Um, that in I, mind. I think you should have been able to climb that table. Uh, I think so too. I would have um, smacked it otherwise, but it still would have been 10 feet instead of the 5 feet that I would have gotten for free. So it yeah. makes sense that I couldn't. So uh, I think this spider is going to attack Kupiri again. Or no, this is his first time attacking Kupiri. Actually, the first thing he's going to do is immobilize Brunt. That's the is first he? thing he's going to do. Yes. Bullshit. He's going to do his little webbing thing. Because he doesn't like people running around on his battlefield. Oh, no. oh, nudge fate. Oh, that's true. Misses. Yep, it misses. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Zug Zug. <laughs> so he's going to do it again. It's single. And miss. Ziggy and Ziggy. then he's going to attack Kupiri. And hit. Is that a critical hit? Yep. Why would it be a critical hit? Because well, that's 20. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he hit with the 20 and then got the critical. Okay. 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 So that's twice that these spiders have gotten criticals on Kapiri. Oh <laughs> 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 and, uh, and yeah, I need you to make this little uh, this little roll there, Kupiri. He's still breathing. Yep. Oh, oh no! I will. I will be rerolling that. Zero point. That with a, <laughs> <zero> point. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, when does poison take effect? I don't know. Uh, let me, I gotta look that up real quick. I want to make sure I got that right. I think it, I think it, it happens at the end of Kupiri's turn. Okay, I will be back. I have 
I have stabilize, and I will be casting that on Kapiri on his turn. So, as long as that flies, he should be okay and not die. Okay. Is he actually down? No. No, we're just assuming the worst. We're just playing this game for the past uh, however many months. Do so. I get a hero point for that one I just rolled? Yes. You get two. I would think you'd get a hero point and then could immediately use it to re-roll your second one. That oh, that's sense. true. But that's dumb. <laughs> I don't think that... No, you can't, you can't like, get a one and then use... <laughs> The hero point on the one that you just you that you just roll. You do have but another do hero have point one? now, though. Okay. Um, you should have one hero point. Yeah, that's how many I have. Uh, I'm gonna need it to re-roll the rest of the runs that ones I roll this, this time. Okay, no, I I think this is I think when you get when you get uh hit by something, it happens immediately. Does it have an onset? Does it have like a poison block that has like the onset duration and all that? Or yeah, there's like no that? onset, um, and I got a max duration, but I think if you fail the save, you get the damage immediately. And since he critically failed it, he's in stage two of the poison. Yeah. So he takes another 12 points, and that'll take him down. Does that cure the poison? Maybe this is better. Uh... That's a really good question. Are we sure should don't want to bring him up and then have him go down with more poison and let's see, hold on. I gotta look that this is that's actually a good question. Uh, okay, um stabilize works on a dying creature, not a dead creature. I am dying. he's not, I'm dead. not dead. Yeah, yeah. It, it says dead. dead. I know, but ignore that. Everybody thinks frogs are dead. He's just I'm just playing. hibernating. I'm <laughs> hibernating. I think. Oh, what was I going to look up? Can, 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 can't you use treat wounds to also deal with poison? Although you're surely immune. Because didn't you already. I just treated him last turn. Yeah. Maybe Wes will forget that. Um, yeah. Poison stages and die. Yeah, because stabilize is all I have to help. That's all I've got. I would think, well... It's going to put me on some kind of list. Like, if you kill somebody with poison, if they die, is the poison still there? I'll just Google that as much as I can. Yeah, I think you're going to have to go through the poison. I think it's going to be bad. I could be wrong I, about that. I uh, do not have a poison condition on me, just so you know. Oh well, there you go. Okay. Oops, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you. I one. think that's because he has not given it to me. So. Um. So bad. How do I do that? That and I guess maybe I drag it over. Boop, boop, boop. Does that work? No. Uh, uh, let me see. Um, does that work? Can I put it on you that way? No. Does that work? I'm not see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, um, um, that was the spider's final attack, correct? Yes, it's yeah. fat webs twice, and then yeah, and then critted on us. Okay, so now it is uh, it is Calliope's turn. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I'm going to. He's targeted already because you know I healed him last time. Yeah. 
that was worth a lot. So now I'm going to try to stabilize him. Okay. Uh, it reads, positive energy shuts death's door. The target loses the dying condition, though it remains unconscious at zero hit points. This seems appropriate, yes. Okay. But if he does take poison damage again, he'll go right back to dying. Yeah, do we gain anything? This is like a weird mechanical situation. Like, do we gain anything by doing that? Because he's next round. This is, might be the thing where you save and still take some damage. So yeah, it might not be wise to stabilize him while he is poisoned. Okay, then I won't cast that then. Um, yeah. Like he's still gonna go up in wounded value again now, right? Because he's gonna take damage. Yes. And, like, wounded will okay. go up by one or two. What is the? It um, took me up by one. I'm at wounded two now. Yeah. Four is dead, okay. or three? Four. Four. Then we gotta do I'm something about that. Suck the poison out. The spider. Do I need to move forward? Is he is he in line of sight for me? Um. Yes, I think he's barely in line of sight for you. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Wait, treat, treat poison is an action you can do. Uh, yeah, well, but yeah, I think it uh, says, well, I, don't, I don't know if it's got a, it doesn't have a requirement. It says you have to be holding healer's tools and have a hand free, blah, blah. You he, treat a patient to prevent the spread of poison. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Critical success, it gets us throw. Oh, it's just saving throw bonuses. Never mind. I mean, it's well, I mean, a saving throw bonus, bonus might be good at this point in time. All right, I'll move up to him. Because if he gets a crit success on his save versus the poison then he will he will um the poison will be over ah but otherwise he's just going to drop one stage of poison okay i'm yeah, going to poison like, on him then yeah do you right? see that as an action it yeah, like yeah it's on basic, basic action core rule action yeah okay here we go medicine check go that is oh for fuck's sake not okay. going to do it correct 16 um, can I do it again? No, no, no what, I mean, what the DC is. Hero point it? No. Uh, I can Against the poison it. DC. Uh, okay, let me find out what the poison DC is. Um, what, 17. Whatever the DC of his save would be, I assume. D 18. 18. Oh, so close. I can hero point that. Um, I also want to remind you guys, somebody has a wand of healing. I think we lost that in the move. Uh, but yeah. d treating this poison, ZZ. yeah. So, so right click on the treat poison and put reroll using hero point, honey. I'm definitely not carrying a wand. I don't think I can right click on it. It just it doesn't let me right. The click. text I box think. in the chat. Right click on the text bo box in the chat, and it should pull up reroll. Using hero point. Why would you let this happen, Brond? Jeez. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, there was a wall around the table. Which... What did we do? Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It's oh, same roll. Oh, same thing I did. Damn it. <sighs> Boundary is screwing us tonight. Okay. Well, um, my turn is over. Yes. Okay, so it is now Kupiri's turn. Kupiri, I would like for you to make a saving throw. Let me pull it up. Do it. Here you go. And your goal is to crit, crit succeed this. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, how close to a crit is it now? Two points. You do succeed. So you go down to tier one of this poison. Uh, so you take these points and your wounded goes up to three. Okay. So now. That was a fun turn. Yes. Now it yeah. is Trick's turn. Check this shit out. Rick's just been waiting. Spider. I, fine. 
am gonna shove an anti-venom potion that I have. Oh! Um. I could have said something about that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a good point to bring up in discussion. You, like ratings longer. Attack, you know, the, the spider. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, Kapiri, make the DC 10 flat check. No. Motherfucker. I point choose it. not to. I choose not to make <laughs> okay. that check. Here, point it. Wait, yeah. why do you have to make a flat check against the damn... Uh... There you go. Oh, that was me, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Kapiri, yeah, you're going to hero point it? Sure, why not? Okay, you passed oh, the flat God. check. So and what is then... this? Oh, uh, to end any persistent poison damage. Okay, so you're... In addition... For one minute after drinking the potion, you gain a plus one fortitude bonus. Okay. For against potion. Poison. So you okay. have done two actions. You have one action I'm, left. I'm going to shove a healing potion down his mouth. Okay. Uh, Which one am I going to use? One what was that flat check to, to take a, to administer a potion? It's a part of the potions description. Oh, I yeah. see. Drink my last healing potion. Or my last good one. Okay. I think it's 15. I'm applying. No, uh, oh, no. Here, I'm pulling that off of you, and I'm putting okay. it onto Kupiri. I was at full health. Yeah. There we go. Rem removing that healing potion. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Holy cow. It is now Zingle's turn. Wow. Now I can just fuck around. I thought this was going to be like critical, some kind of real problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to command, safely command Scoot again. I kind of point over at the spider. Scoot will reconfigure itself to a, a symbol that's frightening to spiders. So I don't know, a large bird on okay. his back. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to nudge fate on the spider. Let me try to get a save for that on the spider to give him minus ones. Okay. Make sure I can do that. Give me two seconds. Uh, oh, I got to move too. That's, that's a tough situation. I commanded Scoot. Actually, I'm not going to command Scoot. I'm going to leave Scoot to um, uh. I get, hold on a second, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, Scoot has this independent trait now. That means if I don't command him, he gets an action. Typically, I still decide how he spends it, but the GM may be a dick. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. So, um, so <laughs> I'm going to attempt oh, to send you, Scoot so. over to the spider with my free action to command okay. him. Uh, and then, for my first action, I will move, I will step over how do I get next to this damn frog? I step oh, there's a damn mouse there. Well you can step where Scoot is, right? You can share a space with yeah, Scoot. Yeah, but that's there's a spider in that general area. Yeah. Well I mean you're this is this adjacent oh, I can't move this no, I took a Calliope. Um what about south of Calliope? Is that adjacent? I think it is. I can reach over the table, right? You're tiny. And right. those are walls. Um Okay. But I'll say yes. I'll again. say yes. Right. Are you gonna go over there and stand next to the spider? No, if I can like just leap or reach over the table, like I'm getting more taters, I will uh, <laughs> do that. So I go down there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, that's my first actual action. Okay. And I'm going to reach over and boop uh, Kapiri with okay. the lay hands. Okay. Cast that. Uh, healing roll. Healing twelve. Okay. There he goes. Kupiri gets Wait. 12 points. And then I'm going to uh, nudge fate on the spider. So there we go. Uh, it does get a saving throw, but you know what? Go for it. Okay. Spider gets a DC 19. We'll save. Spiders can't have great willpower, can they? Uh, this okay. one does not. Yeah, fantastic. So, so it's now uh, at a minus one on anything that if a minus one would hurt it, right? Uh, no, I can't. Is that not? It doesn't work backwards, does it? The target fails. 
No, no, no. So I don't. I'm sorry. Can I retcon that? I don't nudge fate in the spider. I can't make him bad. That makes no sense. Why can I not? Why would nudge fate not go both directions? I don't know. So I do it on the damn frog. I mean, okay, that's fine. So Kapiri now has. Yep, and I'll try to watch him. Seven status effects on him. <laughs> 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 All right, done. Okay. Am I still enfeebled? Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst of yeah. your problems. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were at enfeebled too, and I think a point comes off each hour. All right, Wes, it appears to be Bronze's turn, yes? It does appear to be Bronze's turn. I would appreciate it if you move <laughs> Bronze up on the table so that he can go over to here. So it's okay. 5, 10, 15. Yep. Thank you, sir. And I am now going to take a, a power attack against this fucking spider. <laughs> there you go. That's going to hit. The spider is badly injured. And that's it for Brond. He turns Someone to Brond because Brond just really hurt him. Fucking better. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Wes, Wes. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know what to Fuck say. You, oh wait, not that. Fuck not you. That. Not that. <sighs> there we go. You take right. uh, damage. Yeah. Twelve points damage. Yeah. And Bronze like, mm, whatever. Okay. So and my froggy friend, it's all good. <laughs> and then he uh, does it again. Doesn't he have a saving Chris, Chris throw? Got more. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, you got to do a saving throw. It. There you go. No. Thank you, froggy <laughs> friend. <laughs> hey, hey, good enough for me. It's hey. good enough for you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Trick has more. Who would carry what kind of monster would carry one potion? Oh, Ooh. oh, you, you, you fail. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, here you go. You take some damage. I take some damage and I kick the fucking frog. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Ron takes six damage, so he attacks uh, again. Oh, wait. It's the wrong person. It's another crit. It might. You never know. That's a miss. And then he... Copy your AC. Um... tries to immobilize you, I think. I, I really feel like that the spiders would be like, ah, I don't want things moving around. I would have thought he would have done that first. Mm, just saying. No, he's one of those spiders. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's a critical miss. It's okay. fine. I don't mind. So that's him with the end of his turn. Calliope, what would you like to do to this poor spider? Calliope, yeah. I'm just, I want to give you a little advice here. You know, uh -huh. no one liked that frog anyways. Just, you know, kill the spider. <laughs> <laughs> Kapiri's okay. doing all right. He's prone, but he's the almost full health. The frog is fine. Right yeah. Now, yeah. Okay. I'll, um, I'll attack the spider. Can a frog be um, I am going to pull out a ray of frost. Okay. And I've got him selected, so I'm attacking. Here we go. Oh, Man, that's going to miss. These dice. Uh, no, I'm, I can't do it again. Um, nope, that's two actions. Um, You could throw a dagger at him. You know, I could. It's desperate. It seems anticlimactic, doesn't it? Where is my attack on that? I do feel like Ray of Frost is kind of a tiny little spell, and you should be able to cast it more than one time a turn. But... That's not the way the rules say. Oh, you know what? That's not the damn new Ray of Frost either. I bet you anything the the new one is more damage than that. Okay. Well, we can look it up. Yeah. Because they retooled. Actually, actually no. I had her remove all her spells and okay. replace them. Because they retooled a bunch of the that? cantrips. To... I asked you to. I don't. I don't remember. There's a lot that's happened. <laughs> um. No, that looks so, right. Since then. 
What do don't I roll it. for this? Do I? I don't do the plus seven. Okay, do I so do mouse, you've got him targeted. Mouse over you, right? Yeah. Click yeah. on, and then and then you should get a little box up and click the. Here, let me show you. Yeah, so you've got him targeted. Mm-hmm. Which one do I do though? Do it, which map? Okay, that's that's what I was wanting to know. Okay. I tried. Oh, and never mind. The new one's actually a little worse. The new one's just two D four flat. So. Okay. Kupiri, you are prone on the ground. All right, I'm going to stand up. How do I do that? Um, that's a. It's just an interact action. You just stand up. Yeah, but how do I? I'll remove your prone. There okay. you go. I pick up my gun off the ground, and I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. With vengeance. In your heart. Yes. That's gonna hit. Oh, come on. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, it is now Trick's turn. If we right. wipe the spider, it's going to be a long time before I RPG again. <laughs> Do it. I'm going to draw my sword, walk up, make a strike. Oh, that's going to be a... You targeted... What? It says you targeted Kupiri. But you rolled oh. a 29, uh -huh. and, and he's got an AC of 19, <laughs> so you got a critical hit okay. against the spider. Okay. The damage box is weird. Well, I keep forgetting about that extra effect of lay on hands. Yes. So just roll the critical box on your in the chat. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and that is going to take out the final spider. Oh, thank God. Okay, you guys have now defeated all of the monsters in this room. I'm going to end the encounter. Oh. Uh. I feel like this was um, a lot worse than I thought it was going to go. Well, just there were a lot, lot of fucking spiders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of criticals. Uh, so, what do you guys want to do? God, it's I'm no gonna visible. check. I'm gonna check every inch of this room. Okay. Yeah, same. same. I have a plan. I'll start. I'll start in the lower corner here. Every floor tile, every wall. Ron, Ron did you loot the corpse? Little web. There, I, I've looted the two that I have access to, and there isn't shit on them. Okay. Okay. What is um, this, how does search work again? This perception I'm also rolls stuck basically. On the table, West, yeah. Just FYI. Yeah. Okay, I'll pull you down the table. Boop. There you go. Uh, okay, you guys do a pretty thorough search of this room, uh, and you find a webbed up bundle underneath the. Um, uh, underneath the table. Um, it is... Uh, do I have a chest for this? I don't think I do. Let me get Ron rid would know. Let me get rid of these enemies real quick. Is there anything in here? No, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a little thing. So I'll just hand... You guys find uh, a... Uh, some sling bullets, some some special sling bullets. You find a uh, mesmerizing opal and a necklace of fireballs. What? I think you removed our token. Yeah, I'm gone. Some tokens are gone. Okay, hold on. I don't know why. I must have done something weird. I'm still here. Okay, so we're gonna. What put is Ron. a mesmerizing opal? Uh, let's put Kapiri over here and Trick over here and the Zingle over here. Zingle's still here. Oh, now oh, there's two. Okay. All 
Um, oh. Okay. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get. Who wants the necklace of fireballs? What What is it? Do we know? Like, what do we know? It does. We just auto identify it, basically. I'm just gonna let you auto identify yeah, it yeah. in this particular like case. Like it. It um. Shoots I fireballs. Mean, it's a, one you take little balls off and throw them, and they become fireballs. Is that the? That's, yes. I feel like that's an item. That, yes. And it has two gems on it, a medium one and a large one. Oh, so it flows two fireballs. I feel like I don't trust myself to be the person deciding when to throw fireballs at stuff. Okay, I'll give that to I Trick. Think I'm self-aware enough to know. There you go, Trick. Okay. Um, And then I'll give... I think that's a bronze thing, and then... This is a trick thing also, but nobody uses a sling. So there we go. Uh, anyway, so what you notice is that there is an illusionary uh, city in the middle of the table. Uh, and you recognize it at matching the dioramas out in the hallway. This is a, this is a map of Absalom from 500 years ago. Um, uh, but like the illusion of the city, like also has a lot of spider webs going through it. So it's kind of creepy. It looks like the city has been webbed to the table. Hmm. And that doofus was just trying to web it up. How much of his life? There's no visible exits, right? This is the, yes. The door that you see came in is the only exit you see. God, so he's just been in here trying to web that thing. Well, it's, it looked like he was talking to it, right? Yes. God, what a life. Okay. Uh, I want to. I'm just gonna. Hello, hi. Okay. At at the thing on the table. Yeah. Nothing happens. I wave my hand through it to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it mo It passes right through it. It is just completely an illusion. Uh, I refuse. This is kind of like the planning room for their invasion. So I think we've made a search. I'm searching the walls for hidden exits. I'm going to do a blind okay. perception. Uh, kind of. Uh, perception. Blind. Not the most perceptive. You do not see anything. Who's perceptive? There's got to be an exit. Surely. After that hallway of death. <laughs> it was a hallway of death. Nothing under the table. Well, you, that's oh, where that, you that found bundle. the bundle of things. And there was like a bunch of old arrowheads under there. Um, oh. There was, there was uh, some chunks of time. worn glass, some seashells, um, and some sticks. How is all that shit? There's, uh, who's perceptive? Me. Oh, I am. Yeah, go fight. Find an exit. <laughs> I all dropped right, Scoot. I, I, I dropped Scoot down and ask him to try to see if there's a place he can crawl out of the room. Okay. Don't go far. Scoot. Oh. Scoot walks around the room. I'll poke at the walls to you. Sure. I do so as well while limping dramatically. <laughs> oh, your injury! Oh my God, I forgot. I'm so sorry. Uh, neither of you find an additional exit, and Kupiri, you think you've searched this room pretty well. Oh, fucking God. You know what I think? I think this would be a great room to rest in. I agree. Mm. Just pull some spider webs over you like a blanket. Yeah, we can make a fire with this table and all the chairs. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to make a fire in a cave? <laughs> I can't see how that could go wrong. Let it <laughs> Just let it happen. <laughs> it's not a cave. It's a room. Uh, uh, deep with the underground. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to shut the door and rest? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. So you guys uh, set up camp. Um. Uh, I assume that you're going to uh, heal yourselves up using treat wounds um, un until you're back up to max. 
Um, so everybody go ahead and click the rest for the night button. Unless we're going to hang out like enough time to. Yes. I was wounded. Why should it think about spells real quick? Okay. So let me pull off your treat wounds markers here. Whoops. Sorry. Let me pull oh, off. That should no longer be enfeebled. I yeah. guess. I don't know why I'm doing that here. Let's do this. So yeah, you're not enfeebled anymore. Um, you're yeah, you don't have any of that. And then I think you guys are set. Is everybody at max hit points? Uh yes. Okay. Um, okay, you guys have rested for the night. If everybody clicked the button properly, you should even have your spells back. Yep, your spells are restored. Uh, and it is a new day. And you are, um, fairly confident that the, uh, hallway of traps would have kept any kind of wandering monster from coming down this hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how they got in or if they were just stuck here for a long time uh, there's they a, just died there's a story I, I know how they got here so anyway uh, it is it is the next day what would uh, you like to do I well I want to rush blindly out into the trapped hallway again and see what happens <laughs> <laughs> How did they get here? I, I, I wish I could detect magic better. It's just there being magic. But I guess we go. If we leave, we have other exits to deal Let's with. Let's look and I, I, do a quick overview of... We've got the worm room. we got the doors east of the clean hallway. Yeah, we've that, got... That's probably the next most promising i mean i would think yeah like it's kind of here yeah let's do it yeah did we have to do any gyrations to we, we can kind of zigzag our way back down the trapped hall yes I think. yes well, okay. you guys did I... create a good a path along the north wall and then along the east wall to get safely out wait a second wait a second and it <laughs> Well, I want to make sure it looks... Is there any way to physically tell if it's reset itself or anything? Um, you can try and then do a reflex save. You can jump in front of it and then succeed at the reflex save. You have to shout, yeah, when you do it. <laughs> okay, I'll jump in front of the one we already disabled. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. I turn around and thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Does a bullseye lantern make smoke? It's um, a little bit, right? Yes, a little bit of smoke. Yes. I want before I leave the room. I want to light my lantern and for a round or a couple rounds, whatever, and see if I can perceive like is the smoke venting anywhere? Okay. Is it being is it being drawn? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. Sure. I, I'm just going to do a perception or survival. What do you think is most appropriate? Perception. Okay. Uh, blind. No, the air in here is pretty static. Oh, it's not. Way. It's not blowing through here at all. Okay. Well, as I'm walking down, I'm looking at the ceiling. Does it look pretty normal? Uh, yeah. And you notice that there are some webs around the ceiling and things like that. Oh, Bron. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Ron for exploded. I, I'm. I'll. I'll take a hit. No, no, no. I I, I. I think these trap rooms are stupid. So I'm not. I'm no. You. You. You're smart enough to know where you guys have set up no. your path. I just follow the mouse. Okay. Yes. That's I'm assuming you all follow the mouse. Okay. And you get back down to this hallway up here. And if you remember, to the north there was the rest was the washroom, that was haunted. Yep. 
Okay. So we're going to go east. Do you go back into the washroom at all? I don't. Yeah, I pooped in. Okay. Because you notice. really get a good look at it, yeah. You notice that the words on the wall reform again. I was Otari. Save me from below. And then the 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 thing starts going down the hallway again. Okay, so, well, fool me once. <laughs> uh, actually, no, let's go. Let's go. It's still pretty. It's still pretty. It is nice. I don't know. I, I feel like there's something there we missed. <laughs> You know what? Maybe without that, maybe I actually start following it, not letting it get away. Just to confirm, it goes to the same room. I like holler, holler back. Like, okay. You know, I'll okay. I'll come with. I'm gonna stay behind. You guys are chasing it. You know, you see all these footprints being left behind by the trail. And then you see it doing its dance in here. It's gotta be this room. And then it goes out the doorway after it. And then down to the stairs. Right? Yep. There's something dead in here still. Okay. Yes, yeah. the, that's where they fought the skeletal giant. Yeah, that, oh. And then it that's goes cool. out the stairs and, and disappears. All right. Well, I step around the giant puddle of blood that came out of the skeleton somehow. So and... he comes down the stairs. Is there a door here? There's something here. Well, it's just the steps down. Yeah, that's the, that's the stairwell to the, um, to the uh, there, was a, there was a set of stairs that went down. And it was started the 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 green light went part down the stairs and then disappeared. So we'll do that. Oop, we'll do that soon. Okay. Yeah, we're we're not there yet, per se. I yeah, thought, I, I thought stayed. Okay. I stayed behind and I searched the room really good just to see if there's okay. anything else. You do not find anything else now. Uh, uh, Calliope, you're yeah. You you should probably come back. Uh, you can use arrow keys if you want to to move too. To see. That's fine. Okay. Um, you do not find anything additional in that room. Okay. Uh, so east, right? Yep. I mean. Okay. And again, you're standing in a piece of hallway that is like perfectly clean. I still don't get what. No, the answer may be in here. We'll see. Okay. Rick rushes in. No, I'm going to do a perception check at the door. Okay. You do not hear anything on the other side of the door at all. I open the door. Shelves line the walls of this room, each lot filled with tools used for cleaning or repair work. A silver-headed cane lies amid a tangle of mops, brooms, and buckets. Mm. Uh, okay. I pick up the cane. Okay. Ron goes and checks out the next door. When oh, you do sorry. that, the um, the all the like brooms and things fall over, making oh. a loud racket. Uh, I am dragging the item onto you. Hold on just a second. Oh, does this work? Ron makes like motions. Me, did you get that? For, uh, it should be in your weapons. We for Trick to wave it around some to see if it does anything with the things. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as soon as you do that, as soon as everything starts clattering around, the door to the north... Uh, Opens up. Uh, hold on just a second. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Beep. And a large, uh, well, not not very large, a grotesque humanoid figure with a oh. fly for a rear end and mandibles around his mouth comes around the corner and says, Oh. Ron no wants to um, slam the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Slam. You slam the door shut. 
All right. Well, Fuck that you, that fly right. butt. Uh, let's uh, let's all roll initiative. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> what is the staff? I mean, what did it generally look like? It was just like a walking it's staff. It's like a sword and a cane. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Quit. Get the pop-ups now, too. Oh. oh There. There we go. Okay. Everybody has rolled initiative. <sighs> Wait, why have I not? Weird. Oh, I got a, a decent roll so I can run away. There we go. We're beginning the encounter. This thing doesn't look Okay. Good. Calliope, what are you doing? I'm going to uh, initiate You're muted. Yeah, you're muted. muted. Okay. So, uh, Calliope has decided to delay. I'm holding my action. Delay is the type. I'm, I'm going to delay because yes. we are playing Pathfinder. So it is now Zingle's turn. <laughs> well, I want to delay. Okay, you're going to delay no, too. I want to delay. So this thing, we but Bron shut the door before we did initiative, right? Um. We, yes. Did, the the, the initiative. The door shut is what triggered the initiative. Oh, uh, and I didn't recognize the language. Obviously, the thing mm -hmm. was speaking. Nor Wait, let me see. Action. Let me see. Um. Mm, hold on. I, I actually I don't. I think I shorted my. I mean, it won't apply for now. But I think I shorted myself languages on level three. Forgot to do them. But. <clears throat> uh no, you did not recognize it. Hmm. Can I make any kind of? I've saw it briefly though. So first action, I want to make any kind of recall knowledge to see if I. So you're not going to delay? No. Uh -uh. Okay. So, yeah, you can do a recall knowledge to see if you recognize the language, I, I guess. Well, I wanted the creature. I wanted to know anything about, like, do I know what I just saw? Because it was very disturbing. Um, I saw it briefly, I think, from where I am before the door got shut. Uh, that is a devil. Oh, are they good? <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> good is relative. Really, and so I know this. Uh, you know that that is a thing. devil. How, how exciting. What an interesting thing to see. So can I reach the door from where I'm at? I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, nah, fuck that. So I, I, I nudge fate on our heroic fighter. Okay. That's the second action. And the third action, I command Scoot. I put him down on the ground, and I send him into the room. Okay. And uh, with the instruction of going into the room, looking what's in there, and coming back out, hopefully without being hit. Um, okay. Um, very unobtrusive, I uh, think. Um, and he's a god, so. Um, so he comes back and says, fire, evil, burning hmm. all right uh I, I just relate as briefly as i can uh this is not really an action and then i'm done okay trick what are you gonna do uh delay my turn okay Bron, what are you gonna do everybody's copying me <laughs> i look at the group okay um and uh like, should I just open the door back up and kill it? And I'll say that's one action. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. yes that would be great. Yeah, I got like here. here. <laughs> for my second action, I open the door, and okay. for my third action, I attack the mofo. Okay. I was gonna say I want we should try to talk to something in here, but not a devil, right? Probably. Hold on, just one second. Let me read something about the room. Read the room, jeez. As Bron swings the door open, sword in hand, ready to the hack, he's going to take a look around the room. Okay. <laughs> um, the walls of this room have been painted crudely and almost childishly to depict a horrific hellscape of burning mountains, rusting cities, and tormented souls. And with that, Bron keeps the sword coming down our on our nasty, nasty little bug friend. Okay.
<laughs> you miss. And that's it for Braun. Okay, Kapiri, it is your... Uh, now, there are two people with held actions. Do you wish to go immediately after Braun, or are you still... Or, pardon me, who are delaying. Do you wish to go immediately after Braun, or are you still delayed? I can go. Okay, I'm going to change your initiative to 21. Okay. And I'll go right after. Okay, I'm going to change your initiative to 21. There you go. Actually, Man, I thought trick, it was my turn. Trick goes, trick goes first. Oh, before me? Oh, That's I true. probably have a higher... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Okay, I want to attempt to tumble through so okay. I can get to the other side. Okay. So I will roll that. I don't know what the DC would be. I'm going to guess that would hit it. Um. Yeah, that'll definitely uh do the do the deed do the deed. I think you have to beat its armor class. Is that correct? I don't know. Meter beat. Yeah. Maybe you for attack the DC. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have tumbled through. And then I'm gonna try to hit it a couple. Times. Oh wait. Treating oh, the wait. squares. Oh, you you moved forward through Bron oh, yeah, yeah, and then tumbled through him. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Would that be one action or two actions? That would be move and tumble. Tumble through includes a stride. Yeah. Okay. Against the enemy's reflex DC. Um, reflex DC. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Twenty-eight beats that. Okay. Then I will attempt to strike it, and it should be flat-footed, I guess. I don't uh, know if it'll... It... I didn't target it, sorry. Oh! Okay, so it is flat-footed, so that'll be a 23, so that'll hit. Okay. Not flat-footed, off-guard. Off-guard, off-guard, yep. Because we're playing Pathfinder. Oh, mm -hmm. Pathfinder. How does name change ever? Okay. There you go. Ooh, no damage. Oh, that was a cold iron too, huh? I'll try one more time. Wait, wait, what were you attacking with? Uh, the spark blade. Oh, that's demon. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Because I, I don't think I'd have time to actually equip the new things. So. Right. Okay, that's going to hit. Zazlaren takes two damage. It is now Kupir. Uh, pardon me. It should be um, my turn. My turn. Calliope's turn. Yep. I am uh, hanging out where I am because this. I am going to attack him with a spell called Bout. No, 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 I want to do briny bolt. Um, this spell, um, will do 46 and should blind him for a round. So, and he's within 60 feet of me for sure. Okay. I'm going to attack. Here we go. That is going to miss by one. Really Wait, uh, he's flanked. Is he flanked to a spell? I would think so. I thought only the people flanking would get a bonus. Uh, I yeah. think you're. I think you're I right. Think it's just melee. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're right. Um, okay, you miss, honey. I'm sorry. No, no benefits for me. None whatsoever. All of you are me. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, I will. Man, there's so many things that are off by one. I feel like. It, it's really cruel and unusual punishment, is what it is. Yeah. Hold on, I'm mousing over me. Come on, come on. I really hate when it does that. Um, so I'm gonna map for my throwing knife at him. Okay. Like, I didn't hit you. I'm going to throw my knife at you now. <laughs> okay. And suck again. Critical miss. 
Woo! It is not my turn anymore. Okay. I'm like bouncing around the room. It is now Kupiri's turn. Okay, Kupiri is just gonna stand and deliver, I think. So stand and deliver. Ooh. Sorry. I was thinking it too. Oh my oh, god. Well, I get a hero point. That's true. And I'm done. Okay. Moving on. It is now Zazlaren's turn. I don't like him for several reasons. And he stands there and goes, Waka Baiki Dabba Yama Dabba. Hold on. Oh, so an animal. Shit. Oh wait. Whoosh. Um except I think What? Can swarms share spaces with people? Can I summon something on top of them? I'm pretty at least Pathfinder OG, yeah. Sounds right. Uh kinds of that this says. Size gives the size of the mass. Occupy the same space as other creatures. Okay. I must do so in order to damage them. Yep. Uh, okay. So, how do I move things to the back? I think uh, it's like Control V. Okay, we'll try it. Uh, I, I'm not. No, we'll try Shift V. Nope. Alternate V. Nope. That's not it. <laughs> um, let me look. That's rats. Um, foundry. Move to back. Uh, game controls. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Um, if you change their elevation, would it do it? Uh, that's a good question. Um, maybe. Ooh. You might be able to ask in the provo uh, provocateurs uh, channel. Let's see if that does anything. No, I think I just stuck it under the ground. Okay, so I'm going to give... Oh. I think what I'm going to do is... Well, no. Okay, so there's a... I'm just going to say there's a rat swarm there. I can see it. Okay. Um, summoned creatures don't act the turn they're summoned, do they? Oh, with 2E, where you have to take a turn to command things, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Summon monster, a practical guide. Blah, 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 blah. If they function as a minion, is that the minion trait? Uh, it has animal and swarm. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
It doesn't say they. It doesn't say you need to command it. Uh, I found some Reddity type stuff that said that, but the actual spell description is: you conjure an animal to fight for you. It has the animal trait. Yeah. You would need to have the minion trait or the pet trait or something to require commanding. Yeah. I'm just going to roll initiative for it, and then it'll go in initiative order, which is going to be next. Yeah. Okay. Um. So if I have the uh, skill of commanding an animal, can I do that on the rat swarm? This is a swarm of rats. I can't command them all. You are like not able to target it as a single thing. So no, no Pied Piperness for me. That's a okay. shame. It is, because that um, would be very fun. Uh, so, uh, everyone on the space is going to take D6 damage. In this uh, case, what? it's two. Okay. Uh, if you'll assign yourself damage. Can you target yourself, or is the rat swarm getting in the way of that? You just edit the hit points on the character sheet. Okay, yeah, do that. Uh, give yourself two points of damage. Additionally, I need everybody in the rat space to do a reflex save that I put into chat. I'm not in the rat space, right? No, Before you are not. The rat space. I'm Am I in the rat space? Thank you. Rat space. Yes, you are. Okay, so I take two points. What? Freaking rats. Um. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I mean. <laughs> well, you know, I don't. You know, I'm tired of failing saving. Some of my best I'm friends. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Bronda made the save, right? Okay. Um. <laughs> Fine. I need you to uh, make that roll there, Victor. Oh. Z cycles tokens to the back. It's not working for some reason. Good luck, single. Okay, regular success. Okay, so you have succeeded uh, against something you have no idea what I made you right. say for. I'm sure. Um, I let's see. Uh, this seems dumb. Uh, it seems dumb for me to do this three times in a row as three actions. But at the same time. I don't... The bites were only one action. Yeah, I don't... Follow your heart. Uh, I think an animal might get two actions. That's what I'm trying to look up right yeah. now. Some creature gets two actions. Okay. But I think that's right, because... Everything like that, like animals do that, right? I'll yield anybody that knows better, but let me see. I'm seeing some. You conjure an animal to fight for you. You summon a common creature that has the animal trait and whose level is minus one, such as those below. Heightening the spell increases the maximum level that you can summon. Um. Blah 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 blah. Okay, make sure that random Yu-Gi-Oh related answer is perfect. <laughs> um. Freaking. Let's see. That's from 2000. If it gains, but see, everything says that this is the minion trait, which is weird that the summon animals don't get that trait. Summoned trait is what they get. Wait, what even what RPG am I even looking at? Okay, yeah. Is she over there with you? Uh, yes, she is. Oh, she choose you, Pikachu. Our puppy. Blah. Can't summon other creatures, create things for value. 
it also oh, so this what the fuck man these rules so the summon trait means it has the minion trait okay the minion trait means that you have to use a, an action to give it two actions <laughs> okay so that's what I, that's the thing i was missing is that it has the minion trait because summon trait means it has the minion trait um well, i know minion shit because of scoot so if it has this... minion that's the deal yeah, but I don't, uh, this doesn't have the summon trait. It has the animal trait. Right, but rule as written is a creature called by a spell or effect gains the summoned trait. Okay. Rule 637. Okay. So, so I'm going based on that. I'm going to go ahead and leave what we did in place. Uh, and uh, he'll, they'll only have one action next turn. Okay. I just don't want to rewind anything. Okay. Um, so it took one action and that'll be the end of this round. It is now Zingle's turn. Oh God. What are we doing? Um, so I'm covered in rats. Yes, there the square right here is the two by two square centered here. Hold on, wait. Here is covered in rats. Oh, I moved accidentally. Uh, is the square larger or smaller than a bedroll? It is much larger than a bedroll. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to just magic missile a living shit out of rat swarm. I still attack it as a creature, right? Yes. For all practical purposes. However, well, there are some tricks with swarms. Okay. Okay. You are unable to to use anything that would target an individual creature. A spell that targets an individual creature will not damage the swarm. So does that mean I can't magic missile it? Uh, let me double check this. Uh, I'll double, let me, or, or swing at it. Like, what do I do if, if that swinging oh, at God. it works? Cause it has an AC. Okay. Okay. Um, Ooh, I think, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't really, right, hold on. I would like to, I think what I'd like to do is magic missile the shit out of it. Because this seems inconvenient to me. So once you determine if that's allowed, I'm going to magic missile the ever living shit out of these rats. I'm going to. I guess heightening. I would have had to prepare the spell height. Is that right? How that works in PF two. Where did I see this bit about not being able to target things? Hold on. Okay, I'm going to put some casting shit in chat. Ignore it for a second. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me double check some stuff here. Um... It is immune to precision. Let's see what swarm trait. Yeah, I don't see anything that Um, yeah, okay. Um, I read something earlier that was saying that a swarm could not be targeted by a, a, a single individual could not be targeted. Yeah, I, uh, I see no, something on my bed. Yeah. But I, I'll let you magic missile. Sure. All right. Yay. Uh, so I do that. I'm going to actually use all three, uh, attacks on it so i'm but do you see its resistance why does it say yes acid damage? 
Yes. That, that's that's pretty nuts, I think. Yeah. So I, I guess that's maybe how they do it in this edition. Yeah. Maybe I was looking at first edition rules. Yeah. Because I know in the Pathfinder game, you could wipe two rat swarms. Mm-hmm. If you did not, yeah, if you didn't have any area of effect stuff. Um, so maybe that's how they changed it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna. I, I don't know why magic missile is defaulting to acid damage or something. It's force damage. Yes, it is. I, I am gonna roll. Okay. Uh, why did that not roll three damage like it was supposed to? I put three d. Now I'm gonna roll two. Then two d four. Okay. Oh, add. I see. I didn't. So this should be the other three. No, no. no. I want you to do all of them together. Oh, okay. Now this this will roll three at once then. Uh. No, freaking, I can't do them all together. I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, it just lets me roll one at a time. Yeah. So I'm, here's the second one. And here's the third one. Okay. okay. Probably a better way to have cast it or something. Okay, so 13. There you go. Oh, uh, what? It didn't die. No, it did okay. not. Fine. That was two actions. So for my third action, I'm leaving the damn rat swarm. Okay. I'm actually going to go outside the room. Okay. Why uh, can I not move? Five. Uh, Are you not? Oh, because um, here, I got you. There. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know why I can't move you. Oh, or maybe it's because the swarm is there. I don't know. Let me move the swarm real quick. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's not. Maybe pause and unpause it. Uh. Er. Well. That's all I got. Uh. Yeah. I don't know why it won't let me grab you and move you. Can we move other people? Let me see. Yes. Oh, no. I have some weird effect on. Oh, you, it now says I'm you're mounted. mounted. Hold on, here. Oh, there we go. I, okay, I here, we, that, here yeah. we go. Oh, no. Let me a plot kit a key or something when I was trying to Google. Uh, okay, so we're just going to okay, pretend that you're outside the door. Yeah, yeah. I'll, and I'll yep. look at it while other people turn. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, it is now Bronze's turn. All right, Rond is. Oh. Actually, hmm. I really don't know why I can't move you. That's weird. Oh, what? What? Oh, <laughs> it's because you've mounted Brond. Yeah, I, have. So what was well, yeah, what was unmount again? And I've mounted Braun. How was I able to move? I don't know. Oh, you're moving Braun, and I'm on top of Braun. Yeah. yeah, I'm moving Braun. Yeah, and you're I, on top I feel of like me. it might be in. Here, let me let me uh, figure out what what unmount is. Hold uh, on. I did it. I there climbed off Braun. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Braun will go ahead Ooh. and strike. And I'm going to move the rat swarm back over here. There we go. Uh, oh, good uh, lord. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I like the we part where you missed. We, we need to uh, refresh this, this web page, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, is that, I think we read that's what reseeds it. I think that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Right. Never mind. This website is great. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <laughs> okay. And then Braun is going to raise his shield for his third. And that's it. Okay. I did not apply. Oh, I did not mean to put that. Yeah, I'm going to. But that was applied to. Uh, I guess I put the damage on Zizlaren. Thank you. Ox, you're up. Amazing. Right. I'm going to. Normal attack it. You hit. Wow. Okay. 
This is Lauren damn. takes no damage. Miss? And one more time. Miss. Not okay, fun. it is now Calliope's turn. Please remember there is a giant swarm of rats in front of you. So I have to hit the rats before I hit anything else? No, I'm just reminding you that there is a... There, there is a 10 by 10 swarm of rats all over Braun and Kapiri. Good thing I can shoot spells and I don't have to move. Um, I am going to... You're also muted. No, I'm not. Oh, my thing's up on my head. That's what, that's what the problem is. I'm not muted. It's just poop, beep, poop here. Gotcha. Here. Just, this thing was up here. Beep. Now it's not. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to cast on him? He's at near death. I'm thinking I don't want to waste a big one on him. Um, I, you know, given that it hits. Uh, <laughs> I could. Um, I'm just going to Ray of Frost again because I like that one. So, Ray of Frost. And I will attack. Please roll better. Please roll better. There you Not go. Better. Okay, and then roll damage. There you go. Okay. This Lauren is no more. There is um, still, however, a giant swarm of rats. Well, his one act. I can't. <laughs> this is life's work right there. Oh, well, these rats are going to take. I um I don't have anything else but hitting them with my uh my uh throwing okay knives daggers um, so target them mouse over the, over the square and hit key okay it's very hard to do that i targeted brond okay there i got him i got them um so i am going to oh hang on hang on hang on it likes to go away on me when i do that okay so map four right uh yes Okay, I'm map fouring. Never works well for me, but I can try. Okay. I hit. You hit. Roll your damage. Okay, damage rolling. Okay, I am applying the damage. The rat swarm takes no damage. They don't take any damage? Nope. They have some resistances. Oh. Well, I tried. I killed one thing. Okay. My turn, son. <laughs> Kupiri, it is your turn. Kupiri is going to fire blindly into the swarm of rats. Because why not? How do I target them? Am I Mouse over the spot next to you? And I hit know I'm hitting and nothing's happening. Um he is not doing anything. Currently, green has me targeted Clover. So so if you mouse over the empty spot next to you and hit T, yeah, you can't... I have it moused over. I hit T and nothing happens. Oh. Have you mounted Brond? I have not. <laughs> okay. Would you like me to? No, no. I just... Hi. Uh, Brond. Brond. Listen. Hey, hey. <laughs> Zim Zummy. You shut your whore mouth. Brond is down. There. Now you can see the rats. <laughs> and I still can't target them. Um, it happens. There, it there happens, it buddy. It okay. happens. Okay. Just, you know. It happens. All right. And All uh, I'm going to fire blindly into the rats. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, that's hit. You wow. hit? Those fucking rats. I guess they're... That makes sense. Dead. That could be bludgeoning damage if it matters. Oh my um, god. Hold on. It does matter. Um, how much did you do? Five? Uh, they are no more. Yay. 
So the deep dive I can tell on swarms is that they, unless there's very few special rules other than occupying the same space and blah blah blah. Yeah. Unless the, unless the specific monster stat block has says it. Right. Right. I think I looked at the first edition rules earlier because yeah. there are all kinds of weird things yeah, that yeah. I read. Mostly that you couldn't target, you couldn't use any spell that targeted an individual on them. Yeah. You could do general damage by swinging at them, but you couldn't cast like mind control on them or anything like right, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So everything is deceased here. There is a bunch of dead rats. Uh, there is a deceased Zebub devil laying on the floor that never got a chance to beg for his life. Oh, I feel bad. I don't. Well, he, saw, he did have a chance to beg for his life, and he summoned rats. That's what he did with his last moments. Well, he hadn't taken enough damage for him to start begging yet. Oh, yeah. yeah, he also yelled a lot of stuff at us in another language. <laughs> and he could to be to fair, he, we wouldn't have understood him <laughs> if he was begging for his life. It would have yeah. been... Um, it's true. It, I had special stuff for that. Um, oh, darn. <laughs> I wanted to... I wanted to explain <laughs> something associated with him and i can't anymore uh okay so um uh what are you guys doing searching his room yeah we are yeah, I'm searching him okay uh trick you don't find anything bron you don't find anything i'm i'm all over that guy okay he doesn't have anything on his body he is a disgusting oh. foul demon from hell Is this his room, huh? Huh? Yeah. What is this? What? So what all is in here? Um, there's just a bench and a bed. Uh, the walls of the room have been painted crudely and almost childishly to depict a horrific hellscape of burning mountains, rusting cities, and tormented souls. Oh. Well, so wow. So, do, and do I have any kind of mad? Can I do or call knowledge with respect to? Uh, magic or occult magic to understand like why the there would have been this reaction to picking the staff up. Um, you can try something. Uh, you do not have any understanding of how those two things could be connected. Pull that staff out. Who's holding it? Trick got it. Me. I'm equipped. I have a good equip now. What is there is any that? writing around here? You do not see any writing on the walls. Okay. How about the staff itself? Like, does, is it was a sword staff. Like, if you open it up, does the sword like have? Yeah, it's like a concealed sword in a. Is staff there sight? Like, can you have you inspected it? Like, is there something on the blade, or does it scream when you open? I mean, is anything? Happen? Yeah, I'd unsheath it and take a look at it. Uh, it is. Uh, it is. A, uh, it's just a standard sword cane, uh, but it's made of silver. Uh, Wes, you see chat. Yeah, Bronn needs you to take over for him. Uh, yes, I am happy to take over for you. That is something that we can do. Also, I am, I am. I mean, it's really easy to play Bronn. All you have to do is hit things and crit. Yeah. No, it's all right. You don't have to apologize for anything. It's been a rough week and we got to play. Yeah, um, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I don't want to do a whole lot without without prawn. I mean, well, we let's search let, the room and whatever. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm fine like, to do stuff without me things. though. Let's That's go. Nice. Let's go. Fifteen. No, it's cool. Let's, it's cool. Let's go. Fifteen more minutes, and then we'll call it. How about that? That sounds good. Okay. Um, can I seek in the room? Um, what are you, what are you trying to seek? I'm trying to. If there's a door anywhere, uh, you just do a just do a blind perception roll. I know, but seek. I'm so good at it. That's why I wanted to do seek. Uh, I don't think that I don't think that's a it's thing. It's not a seek. Seek is for finding hidden monsters. Like if there was somebody in the room that you couldn't that you couldn't see, you you try and find them. The word implies that you're seeking out stuff. No, not in this case. I, I know. I'm trying to rewrite history. It's fine. Okay. No one listens to me. It's okay. okay. Um, never mind. I have nothing. Okay. Anybody going to do anything here? 
I, I'm searching. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to join in searching the room. But you already have. Like, you rolled and you didn't find anything. Well, I searched. I searched him. I searched. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I okay. That was just me and Brian yeah. who rolled. Okay. Through. So I give mean, me. A, I'm looking under the bench, under the throne. Give me a perception roll. Tiles. Okay. Okay, I'll do a perception roll too. What? What's? Why are you? Okay. Go to the actor's page. Yeah, Some that's where you. He have is to. bringing up the monsters chart. That's weird. Uh, here we go. Blind roll. You do not find anything in the room. We just roll a d20, right? And it's blind. Well, you do a perception check blind, yeah. Which is a 10. Yeah, you can just click that die under perception. It doesn't let oh. me click it. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Double click on your character. I did that. And then on the left side, you see your AC, your shield HP, and then underneath it is other AC numbers, and then perception. And a little die. And you just got to click that die. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. You do not find anything in the room. Dang. I'm going to go back out and look at the... I can't. There we go. Look around this room. These all these brooms. Like, is anything special about the brooms or other stuff in the walls? Was this staff the only thing that wasn't a broom in here? That was the only thing you noticed originally. Okay, searching in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wish it would save the damn. Block. Well, if you just click the one on your character sheet, it'll automatically be hidden. No, mine is public. When I do that, I have to change. There's it the time. second one with the uh, eye cross. Oh, I is. see. Is that what that is? I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Neither of you find anything in this room. This this room is filled with cleaning supplies, like one might use for cleaning the dungeon. This room out here that gets cleaned all the time. I know, but why are they why are they cleaning this hallway meticulous? Why is is he doing it? I mean, you can't ask him place. now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He it. lives in this little room. He has cleaned that hallway and has a staff that he likes or something. I wish I had a spell uh, that allowed us to ask the dead a question. For sure. That would be great. <laughs> Can I check uh, his blog? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have a blog. Dang, you would think he would. Um, I guess I want to open this door. Could you move, Brian? Yeah, absolutely. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. All right, and I'm just going to open it. Okay. Um, a pair of hulking humanoid objects stand quietly in this chamber, each covered in a thick layer of dust. Uh, don't move yet. Yeah. They could be statues that come to life. Yeah. Also, don't look away from them. Oh, God. <laughs> I step right up to the doorway and detect magic. So um, we get in that room, and it would probably capture the room above, too, honestly. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but... You do not detect any magic. Okay, so I, I, I've now so probably not going to come to life. That, okay, good. I, I want to look and see if they're uh, any kind of trap, trap or something. I put yeah. a couple of things in, in chat. Each person can roll one or the other of them. I like roll a trap like it. hell, man. Bl blind? You want to blind? Yeah, no. it's fine. Oh, too late. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. Go. Um, Zingle and Trick, no, pardon me, just Zingle, you recognize that there are, um, some gemstones in the bearings of these clockwork creatures. Gemstones in the bearings of these clockwork And, um, like they're part of I I perceive they're a useful part of the mechanism or they're just decorative. Um you are unsure. 
You have never uh, worked directly with clockwork before. Okay. I step into the room. Okay. Well, so they're not magic because they're clockwork. I guess clockwork, it could be mechanic. You know, I can see that. So... Do they look... Well, there's spider webs and stuff, and you said they were covered in dust. Yes, so they, look like they're, they're, they are a thick layer of dust on them. They're not like cleaning robots that have been used in the last week or something. No, absolutely not. They're not Roombas. Uh, how tall are they? Uh, they're uh, slightly taller than a human. Wow, huge. So, my height. I'm Elvin. Huge. Can I do a recall <laughs> knowledge? To, could I do a recall knowledge to see if I could suss out what they were used for? Uh, sure, yeah. If I could understand... Uh, you are unaware of anything they might be used for. Okay. The gems, the gems look valuable? Yeah. They're gems, and they're, and they're like they're, they're but they're like in the gears, and they're they're yes. I mean, you see, you're able to see eight of them between the two statues. Oh God, who has so much wonder? Would buy a lot of potions. Potions. <laughs> um, this I um. Uh, I, I ask, oh God, I tell Scoot, to, I send Scoot into one of the gear mechanisms to see if his feeble little mandibles can just lift a gem up if they're like not adhered. They, they, the, the centipede is unable to budge the, the gems. Uh, I'm going to mage hand and see if the mage hand can gently pull a gem up i don't think the mage hand is able to dislodge things is it no, i think it's just gonna be um bulk one or uh light it would just be able to lift a light object so if it's stuck on something i think the answer is no yes it is it is definitely in there well uh who's like the the slight of handy i seem to recall the rat being pretty good at that so yep i grab, I grab trick oh, no. and sort of Pull him in the room. <laughs> Trick, yeah, you going to try to pry some of these gemstones out? Yeah, I'll try to do it as deftly as possible. Okay. I just, I, I and I'm ready, ready to, like, safe. sprint. Do you want to give me, like, a disable device roll or something like that? Disable device or sleight of hand? or uh... Probably disable device. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I should shut that door, probably. <laughs> no traps on those dudes? No. I'll back out. I'll give you some room. Oh, <laughs> I'll give you some space to pull this off. Okay, you managed to pry the four gems out of this statue. Awesome. Oh, God. That's great. Okay, I look at the gems. Uh, anything of note? Or are they just fancy looking gems? I'll, hold on just one second. And I'll put them in your inventory. There you go. Um, do I see it? Okay. Yes, they're under treasure. God, yeah, I see, I see. Um, okay, anything of valuable? Anything look valuable on this one? Um, anything else? Yeah, there's four on each of them. Okay, then yeah, I'll go ahead and try to do the same thing on the other. Okay. One. You managed to pry the four gems out of that one, and nice. I will put them in your inventory. Sweet. Oops. There we go. Okay. Okay. I want to give the room one more, like, once over if there's anything else that looks cool or um, anything with the statues. You can do a perception check in here. Uh, you do not see anything of note. Okay. Okay. I shrug and walk out. Okay. So. Fine. <laughs> I don't, I just, I, before you, I'm going to squeeze past you real quick. So <laughs> I know we successfully walked out of the room with the gems. <laughs> I just, but I'm, I'm going to go back in. in. 
We I'm didn't get any information. Why, so. I know why. What? Do you want four of the gemstones, or maybe one, and put it back well, in, or something? No, I just want to throw <laughs> a little pink ball at one of them. Okay. So you I throw do. a ball at one of the statues. Yeah, just bounce it off it. Okay, it bounces off and rolls around on the floor. Fine, I'm just mage hand it back to myself. I guess we'll be done. Great, we learned a lot today. Okay. We learned that. What if they demon... helped? I bet these are the things that actually cleaned and not the devil. But they haven't been. Cause this thing looks clean, like recently clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe they broke and he was having so many questions and Braun had just fucking murdered them. <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're too good at the game. We're not good at the, yeah. This must be how Marion feels. When they say <laughs> okay, so Braun walks back out into the hallway and I think we'll call it a night. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So everybody position yourself in the hallway. We'll call it a night. Which hallway? This one? Yep. Okay. And uh okay. I don't feel like you got very much accomplished tonight, but you did do things. We did do things. Yeah. And that guy that's night. going to bug the hell out of me. Yeah. Everything to actually I hate it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that damn web lurker came from. I don't know what this clean freak devil was doing. We, no, we learned nothing. We did some killing and some healing, and all the questions remain unanswered. Because I, I don't know if we were just terrible. terrible. I know the frog. I'll tell you what. A once, horrific poison experience. Once us. you get to level ten, I'll tell you what what his deal was. Where's your? Where'd you get a neutralized poison potion? Uh, I think I found it earlier in a treasure chest because I know Thank I didn't buy it. That probably yeah. saved a death. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. it definitely did. There was there was the chance that he would get hit again and get dying for. Him. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, we're going to call it a night. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I think we're on for next week. Uh, no, I will not be here. I will be um, oh, that's up true. at 2.30 in the morning and running around oh, Disney right. parks. Yay, so. have a good have a good race. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. I, I Hope can't it goes play well. next Thursday. Okay. Well, uh, we will say goodbye to everybody and thanks for playing. Bye. Night everyone. Good night. Good night. night.